What's up, guys? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage the cards for the gods. All right, we're going to find out what's going on for, you know, tonight and tomorrow. Just the overall energies that's in the atmosphere. You guys already know what's the pop, all right? Uh, today, we're going to focus on basically what's happening with the collective. Um, we're going to take a look at the karmic energy as well. And then we're going to take a look at possible outcomes. Uh, we're going to keep it just really minimal on the karmic energy, my, my love. So let's see what's going down. We're going to check out you first. We're going to get some advice cards. So here we go. What's going on in the atmosphere with my subscribers? Coming into the new year from the 30th to the 31st. Coming into the new year. Here we go. Reach out. So somebody needs to reach out and touch somebody's hand. All right. You guys might need, might be needing to reach out to a friend. Okay. Reaching out to a family member. But there's somebody who's reaching out to you. You might be forgetting about them. They might be forgetting about you. But it's time to connect. All right. With reaching out. Some of y'all could be dealing with varieties of different colors or variations of different cultures. I'm also getting there's a well-deserved reward up in this mix, you guys. So, I'm pretty sure you guys are thinking about all the things that you've done over the years, over the last year, over the last months, okay? Um, I feel like there's some rewards coming to you, some, some benefits, all right? For some of you guys, I feel like you're going to be on top of your game with this well-deserved reward, whether it be financially, in your romantic life, your friendships, things of that nature, uh, some of y'all might be feeling, you know, like it's time to reach out to some people, but it's also time to reap those harvests. Okay. So we have manifest. Yes, manifest. So I'm seeing for some of you guys, it's time to manifest here. Okay. Some of you all are calling things into your power, but with this manifestation, you could be manifesting ideas, idealizations, um, decisions. You could be in your head with daydreams, but you're definitely making things come into fruition with this manifest card, okay? Uh, some of y'all could be, you know, um, doing rituals, changing up your rituals. I'm getting that some of y'all are ready to manifest with these decisions that you have to make, okay? Uh, now, some of y'all are going to be putting your best fucking foot forward. There's some love here that's coming about, baby. So for the next uh, couple of days, that energy of love is coming around the corner. Um, for some of y'all, it could be because you've known that you needed to reach out. Definitely some sort of communication here as well, or some connection that needs to be made, a telephone call, text message, all right, for some of you guys. But to me, y'all could be having throat problems. You could be drinking teas. You could be really uh, connecting with your throat chakra for some of you guys, your voice box. But I'm also getting it's time to observe as well. So for the next couple of days, you guys, it's time to, to me in the atmosphere, you're going to be making observations of how you're healing. Okay. You're going to be making observations of how you're going to be putting in efforts in certain things, what you're going to move away from, what your heart desires at this point in time. For some of you guys, it's just time to heal. All right. But you definitely could be coming together. There is some love here. All right. Or someone is going to be figuring out how they're going to love. Could be some things that are blossoming as well for my subscribers. All right. Things could be turning into a friendship, turning into love, coming together. Could be some battles that you'll be having to pick and choose. But at this time, I feel like 
you're definitely going to be making your dreams come true okay with coming together with the observations everything could just be smack you know smacking you that epiphany all right with how you're going to tolerate certain things is what i'm seeing here my love so for some of you guys uh there's definitely something in the atmosphere that's a lot of love and also um, a lot of rewards that you've manifested. You're going to be sitting back relaxing and thinking about all the things that you've accumulated. The things that you um, have actually brought into fruition. Okay. Now, for some of you guys, I'm seeing that there's definitely a new beginning coming in for you. Uh, it could be a romantic offer. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone is wanting to travel your way or there could be someone who's wanting to travel or you could be traveling towards them, but definitely Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. I also have a lot of actions, could be a lot of messages. Someone is going to be reaching out to you, okay? Or there's someone who will be driving or having some driving forces with that uh, Knight of Wands. Also with that Knight of Cups, a lot of action here is what I'm seeing for you guys. Romantic action, um, financial action. It could be for some of you all, you're moving, um, moving to different places, you're traveling, Okay, so it could be a lot of traffic going on for some of you guys. You could be um, thinking about how you're going to get yourself in order with traveling, planning things, and making plans for the next couple of days. All right, but I'm getting that there's going to be some good news that you'll be receiving very soon. I also have the Seven of Swords, so let's see what that's all about. Um, <clears throat> I feel like there's someone who's wanting a connection. There could be someone who's really thinking about a connection that has them a little scattered and you're trying to come out of that scattered energy you know you just want a clear head is what i'm seeing here for some of you guys but definitely some sort of unionship or a connection that you could be you know feeling like um someone could have been in resistance at some point in time could be a leo sagittarius aries cancer pisces scorpio also uh gemini libra aquarius energy but i feel like someone is really thinking about their partnerships and what brought a lot of drama chaos mental mind games okay drama out the ass is what i'm seeing here that someone is trying not to have that recollection in their mind i feel with the page of pentacles um there's going to be some back and forth and in between but you know this is just some sort of side message for some of you guys but there really is uh, a message coming in okay virgo taurus capricorn could be a lot of uh sexual energy here magician ace of wands i feel like some of you guys need to either get some sex or there is um somebody who needs to come into their power with a passion okay definitely a lot of passionate energy with this ace of wands okay so for some of you guys i'm seeing a lot of balance as well too some of y'all could be mixing some real nice drinks oh the other day you know i really don't drink that much but when i do choose to drink it has to taste good it has to be you know done with essence if that person knows what tastes good with the drinks you know that it's done with love um, but I was just thinking about that, you know, when I had been getting the devil a lot, there was a lot of sex, drugging and rocking and rolling. But when I get the temperance energy, I do feel like someone is trying to balance themselves out with either drinking or there is some someone who wants to balance um, their hormonal changes up and down uh, when I get the temperance energy. And also, you know, trying to combine and blend some things. So some of y'all could be drinking, all right? But um, there, uh, somebody had made this apricot uh, cocktail. Oh, I think I'm going to try it for the New Year's, okay? So with this temperance energy here, I feel like some of y'all could be mixing and blending drinks, all right? There could be a combination. You could be going to house parties, parties, things of that nature. Um, but I also feel like you're wanting to grasp some sort of passion. And that's what reaching out is all about and understanding what you're fine-tuning in your rewards, okay? Because you could be just taking a new leap of faith for some of you guys or just taking a, wanting to make... You know a new page in your book or starting over in a new page with this full energy here so i do feel like you're combining things you're blending things you're wanting things to start over with this world energy it definitely could be a completion or an ending that's happening phases that are cycling out possible outcomes is the ten of cups so some of you all are grounding yourself not only just in your emotions um but I'm getting, you know, some of y'all could be grounding yourself outside. There could be things that you're doing with your family. Somebody sitting down, you know, um, just definitely grasping what life is all about. All right. With that 10 of cups. And I'm getting um, for some of you all, you're really thinking about work situations or there could be someone who's really wanting to work here. Um, but it's saying, you know, take some time to relax, even if you are working. 
Take some time to think about yourself and what you're going to put in your plans and what you're going to set into motion, okay? Um, there could be someone who's coming in spying on you as well, too, with this Page of Swords. Um, I'm also getting Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here, so there's going to be some sort of expansion happening or you guys are going to see how things are expanding in your world with things from the past and things from from here on out okay uh i do feel like there's going to be some board movement happening with you guys some of you all might be dealing with um friends and family that you haven't reached out to in a long time there could be some movement going towards that direction some of y'all could be working on your cars your vehicles um things of that nature but i'm getting that there's definitely a balance or a decision to be made here um, whether or not you're either going to travel or you're going to you know just sit down and talk and chit chat some of you guys are really trying to put in too much work um for you're putting in too much work so you might just need to take some time to relax okay some of y'all might need to take some time to smoke some berries and trees and things all right you could be working with fruits and and different uh Things, cooking dinners, all right, getting your situation together with nature. I do feel um, with the nine of coins surrounded by you, there's a lot of money. There's things that are coming into fruition um, that will help you expand, all right? I feel with the bottom of the deck, you have the devil energy here. So there is definitely some vibes, like I said earlier, it could be drink, drinking, sex and drug and rock and roll and with that devil energy. So just be aware of, you know, intaking too much or um, too many things going on. Um, you know, in your surrounding energy that you're putting yourself in that placement. So just be aware of that. Overindulging, okay, obsessing, doing too much. That's no good. You all know how the devil goes, baby. Okay, so let's take a look at your karmic real quick for the next couple of days coming into January 2020. We have finances and career. So like I said, there is a lot of work focus being put into some things here with this finances and career. I'm also getting, um, for a lot of you all, it's time to make that effort or your partner could be wanting to make that effort. Some of you all could be reaching out to have some new careers, new finances, new changes happening. But I feel in your karmic energy, they're definitely having to concentrate on getting some help, getting some support from their friends as well. Um, but it's time to make that effort on what it is that they need to do. They could be... Um, having that calling to figure out how they're going to um, expand. There could definitely be some trips happening or someone who is um, having some sort of honeymoon or they're leaving away to get a vacation. Um, to me, it looks like there's something the universe is saying for you to trust. I'm not seeing any too much deceptive cards, but I do feel in your karmic energy, there is someone who's needing to love themselves. Like I said, they could be talking to friends. Somebody could be like, I don't know what I did wrong. You know, that type of shit. Um, but I feel like it's saying that in this moment, it's time to love yourself first. You all could be taking trips with your honeymoon. There could be some getaways. You could just be having sleepovers and all kinds of things like that with the honeymoon card. But it's saying to stay optimistic. All right, some of y'all are, are in the midst of some sort of reconciliation as well, too, or someone wants to come with you, come to you with a reconciliation. So I'm just going to get a few cards for the karmic energy. We have the Empress and the Eight of Wands. So someone is coming your direction to change the pace. They are wanting some new beginnings for a lot of my subscribers. They're wanting communication. I'm also getting that for some of you all. They could be feeling like you're not that many, it's not that many options in comparison to you, all right? I'm also seeing uh, with the Ace of Cups, it's definitely going to be a lot of love or them. Someone is coming your direction with love, all right? Uh, it's either a unionship. You got the Venus symbol here. So someone could have, you know, a, a water Venus, a fire Venus. Um, but I'm getting for a lot of you guys, there's definitely some love that this person wants to present to you. They want con communication, connections. They want it in every way possible, okay? I'm also getting with the Six of Wands energy here in your karmic energy and also with the Five of Wands. You feel like this per the King of Wands and the Six of Wands, you feel like this person could be always on some player-like type shit, you know, or they're very manipulative. But I'm getting with the Six of Wands here that there's definitely someone that has had to have learned their lesson, okay? 
Um, you know, sometimes it takes people a few times to get their shit right. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you just have to grow with people. And I feel like um, this person is wanting you to do that. Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. So there's definitely somebody's foundation that they're coming together in your karmic energy. There is a love abound okay that's what that love was talking about especially the reconciliation so some of you guys might be encountering this in the next couple of days or it's been ongoing or coming into this situation but i feel like it's a lot of love here with that soulmate energy i do feel someone could be uh, feeling a little blinded or like there's not very much trust here with that king of wands but i'm also getting that that phase and that cycle is completing itself out with the will of fortune but someone is really wanting to present an opportunity with you of success uh, some sort of soulmate tie or unionship. These cards is telling me something, honey. Definitely a romantic offer in the next couple of days. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. I'm going to find out why this King of Wands is here, though. That's what I want to know. Okay. So, here we go. Okay, so I feel like someone um, could be manipulating a situation with their finances, or it could be someone who's making those jump starts. You could look at it so many different ways. Could be someone who has a child okay or a son possibly with this uh page of wands um i'm also getting that someone is really wanting to um think about this connection i feel like someone could be thinking about making jump starts and doing stupid foolery okay but with the five of swords coming in reverse it's kind of like they've already, you know, won their battles. There's already someone who's felt defeated already. Could be possible Leo, Sagittarius, Aries that's wanting to come back. But I feel like someone's in a withdrawal mode right now. Um, but I'm getting for some of you guys, this could be someone from the past, an ex possibly, or someone that you could have worked with um, that feels defeated. I also feel with the Four of Wands, there's someone who feels like, you know, the situation isn't going to pop off. There's definitely something that has happened in their um, foundations that could have knocked them off, you know, their feet. <clears throat> I'm also getting someone that has blocked themselves in your karmic energy. They could have, you know, like I said, an ex could have been blocked or they could have blocked their ex, however the case may be. But someone is definitely blocked here. Possible fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy with that king of wands. I feel like there's a cycle that's ended here altogether or someone is definitely, you know, Put the towel in. So I do feel your karmic, someone is wanting to come back with a renewal, an apology, okay? Or someone is wanting to come in with um, an offer. Could be a small offer with that page of pentacles, but they have a big coin in their hand. So it could be a financial offer that they're wanting to come in with. But I do feel like they're being very critical to the independence of you all's relationship or the dynamics of the independence because I feel someone needs to make a final decision or they feel like they're blinding, being blinded by uh, someone's choices that they've made in the past. Okay. So definitely a lot of love coming in, a reconciliation. The universe is saying some of you all might have to trust the situation. Okay. But it's definitely saying, you know, your finances and your career could be a major focus with that 10 of pentacles. All right, so let's see what else my subscribers need to know about possible outcomes for the next couple of days. Possible outcomes. Oh, they're getting kind of stuck. My cards is getting stuck. So somebody might be feeling stuck some sort of way or you might feel stuck about your partner, um, you know, or just like there's no movement but i have the justice energy here and also the page of cups so a lot of you guys have real justice coming towards you okay you could be dealing with a libra as well uh, but i'm getting that there's something that's going to be justified or a decision that's made straight like that also with the page of um cups it could be a cancer pisces scorpio like i said someone wants to come in with some sort of small offer they could be moving very slowly towards you i did see the page of swords earlier so i am getting with the knight of uh, pentacles and the page of cups someone was either spying on you know how they were going to get to you or how you're going to get to them but definitely a love offer here um i would say that this person definitely wants a marriage or there's going to be something foundational um that is significant to you guys but i'm also getting uh, it's going to bring in a lot of well blended balance okay i'm just getting a lot of balance here ace of wands um three of cups also six of cups so there could be some children that are involved some partying connections okay some celebrations but i'm getting with the ace of wands could be some sexual energy here as well too but there could be a uh beginning or a new start that's happening in a reconciliation 
Oh, there's that page of swords. So someone is definitely spying. Could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Like I said, some sort of mistress or somebody who's off to the side. So be aware of that. Um, I definitely feel like it could be somebody who's willing with that Queen of Wands and that Five of Cups and the Five of... Could be a possible Leo here with these fives. Okay. I'm also getting for some of you guys that this person is definitely spying to find out what's going on. All right. They could be very jealous about the decision that was made with them. So someone is definitely spying here are watching the situation try to unfold or see if it can get worse or better, all right? But y'all know I'm just channeling. Um, I do feel like with this Queen of Wands coming in reverse, there's somebody who's afraid that this situation has ended completely, all right? I'm also getting with the Knight of Swords, someone who's wanting to come in and out. It could be that flighty type of energy or you just coming in and out of the home base, you know, you driving, whatever. But there is that flighty type of energy, that air energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with breathing in air, okay? Or there could be uh, something going on in your atmosphere within the air. Just be mindful of, you know, toxins and things like that. But I'm getting for some of you guys, someone's wanting to take a break here. Or there could be just some rest that you need to get. But I feel with the Ten of Wands, there's definitely some burden ship here that you guys feel you need to take a break, Okay. Um, I'm also feeling with this magician, you know, it was upright, it was a reverse before, but with this magician, you guys are seeing your power now. Like there was something at one point in time that was flipped upside down. Uh oh, I'm about to sing the Fresh Prince of Bel Air shit. Okay. <laughs> But there was definitely something that uh, was flipped upside down and now you're coming into your power. Like I said, um, some of y'all really could be magicians. You could be that person who just, you know, ducked off, hiding off with that hermit and the magician making things come into play. Okay, coming out of that hermetic mode, that monk mode, figuring out what it is you need to do and then uh, coming up from the surface is what I'm getting. Um, some of you guys definitely could be dealing with uh, a change of pace that's getting ready to happen with this tower energy here. And also with the Wheel of Fortune, okay, and Ten of Pentacles. So there definitely could be some luck coming in for you guys, all right? Or a sudden change that's happening. Definitely could be winning the lottery, okay? Y'all know my subscribers, if y'all listen to me, you know. I, well, people know, if they really know me, they know that I, when I come around, I'm a lucky person. I either bring good people, good resources, or I bring money, or I bring clients. One of the two. So there's either some sort of information that you guys might receive or a sudden change of pace, but you got that Ten of Pentacles and the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune. So there really could be someone who might win some fortunes here. I'm getting for some of you guys, there's a soulmate connection, like I said once again, but you have the Six of Wands. So that's what that well-deserved reward is all about, all right? And I'm also getting that some of you guys are going to be happy in your success as things are changing, as things are phasing out and cycling out, okay? So, my loves, this looks absolutely wonderful. You could be choosing between two different energies. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I feel like there's some truth that's going to come out about someone's commitment, okay? Or someone could be getting some information on a building or uh, something that uh, is dealing with a court setting or court, court work. So, let's see what the rebel messages have to say for my subscribers. Here we go. Definitely could be uh, on some lucky shit, baby, or however you want to call your destiny, okay? So for some of you guys, you have destiny changing for the better. Ten of Pentacles, damn, y'all, we got winning up in this hole. So somebody is winning. You either stay in winning with your finances, you stay in winning with the things that you need to, you know, really, like, show concern and priority to. I'm also getting... With laugh, you need to laugh your motherfucking ass off. Go watch you some Eddie Murphy, some comedy shows. Go laugh with your friends. Laugh with your family. Make a smile. Crack a smile, okay? You know, one of the hardest things to do is to not try and smile. Like when most people have tried to perfect that poker face. So it's time to get your ass out there and fucking laugh, okay? It said it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. So be aware of things that you feel you're stuck in the dark too. Like I said, limiting yourself, your thoughts, your beliefs. Okay. Um, I also feel like there's some things that some of you guys might feel is unseen. And you're afraid that the truth hasn't came out. Or there's always going to be some sort of truth that resurfaces. You already know that. Just plan your plan A and plan B up in this motherfucker. Okay. It says you are talented and fucking amazing, you guys. So you know you're going to end this world and this year for you and coming into a better one you know you're talented you know you're amazing 
okay and you're the best thing to ever happen i think i got this the last reading okay some of y'all don't need to be forced in situations okay some of y'all could be obsessing or someone is obsessing over you and it seems very forced so have a little bit of self-esteem and try to concentrate on yourself that's why loving yourself first is always going to be the number one thing don't be afraid to be selfish okay some of y'all are going to be detoxing as well Okay, drink a smoothie and friend that has asshole, throw some shit out. So you already know for the new year, it's time to take a shot, keep it pushing, okay? So some of y'all gonna be drinking and move the fuck on. I love it, you guys. I hope to see you in the next motherfucking video. Peace.